but literally, I swear to God, this is true. You can Google it. Um, they have um, wired up a fish at, with electrodes, and they are teaching it how to drive a car. Seriously, I swear to God, they're teaching it to drive a, a little car, um, and they think or they're hopeful that that will help them teach <laughs> Women, how to drive. <laughs> well, you know, John, John have, you ever been to, have you ever been to the DMV? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the scariest place because you we actually see other people that you have to share the road with. And, yeah, I'm, I'm frightened every time I go to the DMV. So, I mean, not just women, but just so, like just like the, the, the people in society that are like, wow. Yeah, so. Johnny, was the fish an Asian carp? <laughs> I, I, I just picture a goldfish, but I don't really know, you know. But it, wait, are you being story. serious? No, it's a true story. True story. So, I swear to God. so wait a minute. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. I drive to work every day, yeah. and I see the same people, right? I, I, you know, I, I drive same route, same, same people, and they drive like shit right. all the time. And you're telling me that at some point a fish is going to drive better than a person? They're <laughs> just—I don't know what the point of the experiment is. Probably more for just how much they can control the brainwaves. Well, of I mean, fish, what, what's but... the statistic? At least thirty plus thousand people die every year from car accidents. Yeah. Well, let's assume you know some of them are not the person's fault, but I mean that's a lot of people yeah. on a yearly basis. Yeah, you know. Now we throw in fish. I mean, <laughs> God only knows what's going to happen. <laughs> you know what? If they can control a fish and make it swim, I mean, how long till a fish ha- is is doing our goddamn jobs? Right. <laughs> Take our <sighs> jobs. Yeah, so we'll have to build a wall for the fish <laughs> to keep the fish out because they're taking our job. Oh, we, man. We need to call an Aquaman for this. <laughs> He's like, I've been waiting out here for something to do. <laughs> hey, come on on the land. Uh, you know I can't. I can't. You know I can't. Okay, um, all right. So you guys know Joseph Smith, the inventor of Mormonism. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, okay. And, you know, it's it's a great story, and I'm not going to get into the story. Cause it's, it's, dum, dum, dum. Yeah. It's the, <laughs> I think if, if, listen, anybody who has never watched South Park, if you just watch two episodes of South Park, one is the one about Mormons and the other one is Scientology, if you just watch those two, it really does tell you everything you need to know, and it is awesome. But um, today, this week, actually, um, in 1844, uh, Joseph Smith was killed. Ooh. Oh, he, he, I didn't know that. I yep. know he was killed. Who, who killed him? Uh, good question. Anyone want to take a guess? Either one of you guys want to take a guess? I have no idea. <clears throat> His wife? A parishioner? Ooh, better. Okay. <clears throat> so him and his brother were in prison, okay? Um, they were in jail. I, I assume it has something to do with polygamy. I'm sure the male sheriff found out that these guys wanted people to have more than one wife, and he said, "Kill, get that guy in prison. We want to kill him immediately. They couldn't wait for him to be killed. A group of angry protesters broke in, um, grabbed Smith out of his jail cell, and killed him um, because, and I believe one of the guys yelled, I've already got one wife, you son of a bitch. Why would I want another one? And just wiped him out. Yeah, just wow. basically slaughtered him. Well, you know, Joseph Smith sounds like a man ahead of his time. <laughs> <laughs> he, sounds like, he sounds like a man whose time I wish never came. Okay, so that leads us into today's topic. And we posted it online, so everybody's going to know. Gentlemen, we are going to talk about religion. Okay, we are going to talk about religion, and I know slippery slope, <clears throat> right? Right? People, people get weird about religion, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, are either one of you guys religious? No, <clears throat> not really. No, grew up Catholic. I was an altar boy. Yeah. I mean, I believe I should win the lottery. Oh, yeah. yeah, score. I believe I believe I should win the lottery. That's about it. <laughs> and then I went, <laughs> that's, and then I went what does that have to do way? with religion? Well, I believe in something. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's what does uh, Kevin Costner believe in? He believes in the cock and the pussy. Yeah, he believes that uh, the DH uh, the pitcher should bat and there should be no DH. I don't remember the whole speech, right? Okay, <clears throat> um, I, I'm not religious at all. Um, I do believe in life on other planets, though. I mean, that seems plausible. That does. I mean, I, it's hard. It's hard to believe mm-hmm. that out of this whole universe that we're not have no concept right. of that. There's well, not I, other <clears throat> life out there. And I don't want to. I don't want to change <laughs> topics, but just real quick on that. This is the most profound thought I've heard in the last maybe five years. I also was like, statistically, how could there not be life? And then I heard this <clears throat> thought, and I thought that's amazing. So obviously, if you look at our society, we're the only intelligent. Truly intelligent beings on this planet, oh, right? And fish, I, soon fish, and, <laughs> and and basically, you and, know, re- and rhesus monkeys. Looking at Russia and Ukraine, <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we destroy ourselves, right? Oh, so, man. there's a lot of species on this earth that are surviving really well without intelligence: lions, jackals, dogs, whatever, cockroaches. What if what if intelligence is not 
a good trait to have for survival. If that were true, then maybe once you become intelligent, you end up almost assuring self-destruction. And maybe it's not so statistically likely that there is life everywhere. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, like, yeah. that's, pretty, that's pretty profound. That's yeah. pretty profound. So. so when you get to a certain level of intelligence, you have to fucking kill everything. Yeah. Wow. Man, my mind is blown right now. That's a good one. Good job. Yeah. So are we helping to destroy the world just by talking about this? I think this? so. I think so. So we're so intelligent. If we're making people smarter, we're literally destroying the planet. Well, but the three idiots are <clears throat> purposefully trying to take the planet back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, dumb, and dumb it down. Save the dumb world. It down. Yeah. Or dumb it down. That's Ladies true. and gentlemen, tell everyone about this show to save the earth. Fuck global warming. The new mission statement. The three idiots will save the world. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but the actual... So, you know, you have the IQ test. The IQ test, you know, if you can identify patterns of some yeah. stupid shit like that, it means you're smart. But the true definition of intelligence, believe it or not, the true definition is adapting to your environment. That is the true definition of intelligence. So think Rambo. <laughs> no. He was see, the smartest guy ever. <laughs> see, and I thought you were going to say that you could figure out what you could stick in your ass to actually make the gerbil go in. <laughs> no, but but actually that is the true definition. So nobody gives a shit if you're a Rhodes Scholar. Um, I think Rhodes to, Scholars do. Too. Harvard Law School. Yeah, I mean, it's like mildly amusing. But yeah, strip them naked, shave their head, and throw them in the fucking wilderness. Let's see how they fucking do there. Yeah, yeah. Look, we can write a fucking. You're gonna write a PhD dissertation while you're getting eaten by a fucking bear. Good luck with that. <laughs> Excuse me, Mister Brown Bear, or is this a Sun Bear? Uh, I just want to talk about <laughs> Sun Bear. Sun Bear. That's the worst bear of all the bears. You just pick the lamest bear of all the but, bears. Exactly, but you know any bear can kill you. That's why I use this as an example. Because I, I think don't I want to take no. a Sun yeah. Bear. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I think Johnny and is I there, would. Is there anything <clears> thing as a non-lethal bear? Yeah, but I think a, we think we kicked the shit out of a sun bear. I know a little bit of karate. I can kick the uh, shit. Most of the front line punch of the, the spot, Chicago Bears. Punch of the sun. Yeah. Well, well, everybody I mean, else got passed. Yeah, them. well, the Chicago Bears are pretty harmless, you know, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> okay, so, jeez. Okay, so so um, if we don't have mutual assured destruction, okay, um, did you guys know that there are more than 4,000 different religions? Wow. Are they all praying <laughs> the same God? <laughs> Ted, Ted, they can't even agree on the same story. Yeah. Okay, so the five biggest religions, you guys probably know this, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and then Judaism, I didn't realize this, is a distant fifth. Really? I mean, they are really, really low, okay? Because a lot of them got taken out. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Jesus. I, just saying. It's, oh, man, come on. Wasn't Jesus a Jew? According, yeah. to, the, according to the Bible. Well, yeah, hey, I don't know. The Bible. I don't know. Yeah. It was really like thousands of years ago. I have no, I have no idea. You know what? Everyone says that. You, you know what book I've never read? The Bible. I've never read it. It it seems a little long, and I already know the end. So <laughs> I just I thought, why, you know, why bother? Okay. So with the big five religions, and I couldn't believe this, that covers six billion people on the planet. If you ask- What, there's seven, what, was it like 7.5 billion people, almost yeah. eight billion now? Let's just say there's seven billion people on the planet, right? I think so. it's seven and a half. So, okay. so right. out of that, if you ask those six billion- they would say that they're one of those five mm. religions. I Inter- thought that was inter- crazy. Interesting. Insane. I did not realize that. I had no idea, okay? So um, that leaves about a billion and a half not religious or people who are kind of like on a fringe religion, okay? Mm-hmm. And those are the people we're going to talk about Ooh. today, okay? Now, um, you know, the little religions are, are fucking awesome. And the stuff that they do is great. But before we do... I do want to talk about the big five. And just one thing about the big five. Dinosaurs. <laughs> okay? Because I think if if your religion can handle dinosaurs, okay, in an intelligent, moderately intelligent way, I think you you, you kinda you kinda have figured it out, right? So so I'm just gonna go through real fast here, okay? Um the Hindus talk about religion and they say that they actually knew about religion. And if you read their writings, all the Hindu writings, that they actually talk about dinosaurs in their writings, okay? I read through some of the stuff, and maybe if you're super drunk and super high, you could maybe guess that it was a dinosaur, but uh, liberal, yeah, they're, liberal they're, interpretation. Yeah, they're, they're smoking peyote. They don't fucking know shit. Here's the bottom line. Here, <laughs> here's, here's, here's what we here's what we they're know. Not Native American. Here's what we know about Native Indians. Ted, you're right. Yeah, you here's, are. Here's what we know. Here's up. what we know about evolution. Okay, dinosaurs. If you see a picture of a fucking dinosaur in a person. 
that's not fucking accurate because dinosaurs were allegedly extinct millions of years before people ever existed. So, so that's not accurate. So, how does the Bible explain the existence of No, 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 no. no. This, this is the Hindus. This is the Hindus. Oh, okay. So the Hindus said that they knew about it, and in their books that were written, okay. you know, a few thousand years ago, right. that they actually mention in there um, about dinosaurs. Now, now again, I, I it just kind of I, I don't see it. They they you know I like I said I read through it. Yeah. They mentioned big things and blah, 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 but I didn't see anything about, about dinosaurs, okay? So I'm going to have to go with eh, not real good. Now, the Buddhists, the Buddhists are awesome. So when you ask them, they say, hey, listen, in our books and everything we wrote about, we didn't write about everything. I mean, what the fuck? We couldn't. Listen, if you wanted us to write about everything, the book would be like 17 feet thick. So they just left out the stuff about the giant, terrifying super lizards and put in the stuff about the uh, Pterodactyl. fat guy. Pterodactyls. Yeah. That's yeah. the best way to handle it. Yeah. So they just kind of ignored the dinosaur part. They knew it was there. Duh. Yeah. They just didn't want to bother people with that. That made sense to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now, the, the Jewish people, the Jews said that the earth has been destroyed and reborn and destroyed and reborn. And that's why there's, you know, dinosaur bones and all that kind of stuff in there. And again, um, the only thing that, you know, makes you kind of wonder is they just left out the stuff about the giant, massive people eating monsters. They just <laughs> left it out. Unimportant. You don't really need it. It wasn't really godlike stuff. This sounds like a fucking game of telephone. You know, they give a telephone where you like, remember you have like 10 people in a row and you tell a story to the second guy. By the time it reaches the 10th guy, it's a completely different fucking story. That's, that's with, the Bible. With no dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So the, the story starts yeah. there's giant, 65 million years ago, yeah. there were giant dinosaurs. So, so if I said to the second guy, hey, man has a really big cock, by the time it reaches the 10th guy, his, his cock's going to be like an inch long. So I mean, that's that's that's, well, that's, well, that's really what it is. Ted, I, Ted, I would be tired. That's 10 guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're going to, I mean, you, you've been worn out. You've yeah, been worn out. I mean, so. come on. On, man okay um so islam islam <laughs> islam claims that allah killed all the dinosaurs before anything and they just didn't write about it hey man they're gone all done yeah here's my problem here's my problem if he did that wouldn't you want to write it up i mean wouldn't there be like a tr- 10 tr- everyone on the planet would want to be in islam because their god wiped out millions of dinosaurs. He's badass. Yeah, he's a bad motherfucker if he did all that. You would absolutely, that that would be like taking out all the good parts of, of all the, the Captain America movies where there's no Captain America, and it's just people talking about doing stuff. Wait, so here, here's, here's my big question about religion in general. Okay, has anyone in the history of the whole world, like human history, <clears throat> has anyone ever died? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> And religion is no. solved, ladies and, and gentlemen. And, and, Thank came, you and came back, and came back, and, and and can unequivocally, objectively say, "This is what's on the other side." And here's the answer: absolutely not. In the whole history of humankind, I so think, think a of, lot of people claim to have died and yeah, come back. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 dying a little bit inside right now. <laughs> well, okay. No, no, Teddy. Teddy, listen, listen. Okay. So, so the last one is the Christians, right? Yeah. Now, the Christians do it way more better. Yeah. Way more better. Um, they've gone on the offensive. <clears throat> There's actually a group called Christians Against Dinosaurs. Okay, <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. This is all real. So how do you explain the T-Rex at the museums? <laughs> they hate <laughs> dinosaurs no, no, more I, than they hate the gays. What about Here. the what about the mastodons and Teddy, the brontosauruses? Teddy, and I the will, triceratops. Teddy, I'm going. I'm getting to that. They're just making shit up, then, right? Teddy. Um. So so this group. <laughs> Archaeologists are just making shit up. Okay, got it. Teddy. Teddy. This group. This group. Okay. They went ahead and they, there was a T Rex. There was a life size T Rex um, that was at a McDonald's in Tucson, Arizona, and they had a whole bunch of people and they made phone calls and they did a thing and they wanted to get that removed because it was blasphemy. What about Jurassic <clears throat> Park? <laughs> they, Ted, they don't like it. Listen, they claimed that some kid had learned about dinosaurs in school, and he ran around the room growling, and he bit three people. Oh, <laughs> yes. And I'm yes. sick to my stomach. <sighs> yeah. See, but that's why, and, and, and hold on, but that's why, that's why we, we don't want to talk about the big five religions, right? We don't want to offend six billion people. Obviously so not. we are going to offend the other one and a half <laughs> exactly. billion. That's much safer. And I, I thought that was a fascinating take on it. I do like that. Um, you know, let's see how they handle dinosaurs to see whether it's viable. It or was not, the right? only thing that that they all had in common that I could see. You know, that that didn't involve. You know, and the thing that violence. comes out is obviously the mm-hmm. main um, thing about religion, in my opinion, is just complete intolerance for other religions. 
oftentimes. Yes, you know? well, of course, well, I, I think, John. If you're an imaginary person, if you're an imaginary <laughs> if you're, person if you're, in the sky, doesn't want to be. Your imaginary person in the sky is better than my imaginary.